Is changing camera angles while you're live streaming distracting? Oh. Or problematic? There's a better way. Let me introduce you to picture in picture mode with Amiibo Start. I've set up three Mevo Start cameras to help illustrate this. I've got my main shot here, a close up, and then an overhead as well. These are already configured in the Mevo Multicam app, and if you need a refresher course on how to do that, I've included a link to a playlist at the end of this video that includes all of my other Mevo Start videos. I'm doing this today on the iPad because it gives me a little bit more room to move around. However, this works just as well on your phone, and I'll show you what that looks like later on in this video. As always, to change camera angles, simply tap on the camera angle that you want to load. And to add a picture in picture, all you have to do is tap the blue plus in the bottom left corner, then tap picture in picture, choose a camera angle, I'll go with the overhead, and then position it however you like. You've got different crops, square, circle, portrait, and landscape. I'll choose square for this one. You can set the position, left, right, center, top, center, bottom. I'll put it up in the top left, and you can change the size. Once that's set, tap done, and that's loaded as a graphic. Now to load that as a picture in picture, all you have to do is tap it. One tap, and there you go. There's the picture in picture layout. Now this is a single picture in picture. We can actually add multiple picture in picture simultaneously, and there's a bit more control over the layout and positioning of that as well. Let's take a look. To add another picture in picture, tap the blue plus again, picture in picture, choose your angle. We'll go for the close up this time. And I can even rename it. So let's go ahead and call this one close up. I can change my source if I need to. I can choose the crop again. Let's go for a circle this time. And instead of using one of the preset positions, I can use something called free placement that allows me to scale it and position it wherever I like, including positioning it part way off screen if that makes sense for my layout. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit smaller and put it over here in the bottom left corner. At the bottom of this list, you'll see that you can change the stroke color. Let's go for this kind of magenta color. And then with the stroke size, I can make that a nice thick border. Or if I take that all the way to zero, there's no border at all. I'll just leave a little one on there and tap done. Now to load the second picture in picture, just tap on that and there you go. Now I can combine this with other graphic elements as well. We've seen all this in other videos, but let's just add one real quick to here. I'll go ahead and tap the plus, graphics, corner bug, then I'll choose my logo, done, drop that in the bottom right. And now I've got a graphics logo that I can load onto my layout as well. Now here we have two picture in pictures over video. But you can have picture-in-pictures over a static graphic as well, if that makes sense. Let's take a look at how to do that. Once again, I'll go to the plus menu, graphics, full screen overlay. And from here, I could choose a background color if I wanted. But in this case, I want to choose a graphic that I've already loaded on my iPad. I'll choose this picture here, tap done. And now if I load this, it's going to load on top of all the other images, which obviously doesn't make sense. It's important to understand that the order of the layers is determined by the order that you activated them. Since I turned on that background layer last, that's on top of everything else. So to fix this, I'll go ahead and turn everything off. Then I'll start with that background layer and then add the other two graphics. There we go. Now this layout, of course, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let's take a look next at how we can edit an existing layout. I'll start by editing the close up, tap the three dots, then tap edit. And from here, you can change anything you like. I can change the size, the position of it, whatever I need to. Let's go ahead and drop it over here. Tap done. And then for the overhead, I'll do the same thing. By the way, if all you need to do is change the camera source, you can do that from here as well. Meaning you can keep a fixed picture in picture layout, but then change the source of what's inside of it quite easily. But in this case, I do want to rearrange everything. So we'll go ahead back in and choose edit. Let's enable free placement for this one, make it a little bit bigger and put it off to the side. And there we go. One more thing I can do in here is rearrange these. If I tap the reorder button, I can now tap and drag these to reposition them wherever I want in my layout. And to delete one, tap again on the three dots and choose remove at the bottom. Let's take a look at how this looks on your iPhone as well. To do this, I'm gonna first go back to the app and remove a couple of these cameras. We'll just remove the main and the close-up camera. And then I'll go to the iPhone app and add those cameras. There's the close and the main. Now those are both in here. Tap on the plus, go to picture in picture, add that close up shot. And let's make this simple. We'll just do a portrait crop, make that a little bit bigger here and tap done. 
And there's my picture-in-picture -picture layout done on the phone. Now, it's a bit more convenient to do this on the iPad where you have more space, but as you can see, it works perfectly well on the smaller phone interface as well. Let's take a look now at a few other examples of how you might use this in real-world production. If you're teaching online, like my buddy Vince here giving guitar lessons, having picture-in-picture -picture can be incredibly helpful for your students. Maybe you host an audio podcast and are looking for a way to add easy video to it. You can run your audio mix directly into one of the Mevos and get perfect audio with your video. If you're in a live band, it couldn't be easier to set up a couple of Mevos no matter where your gig is and then stream your show all over the world. Or maybe you're starting a YouTube channel doing product demos or you can stream your kid's baseball game or your house of worship. The possibilities are endless. Where do you think you could use picture-in-picture? -picture? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.